want their children to be well-rounded, but the problem that every parent faces is that seven-year-olds would rather watch any video on YouTube than learn how to play the violin. So, how do these concerned parents get their children to be more active? Answer, they force them. Now, forcing your kids into activities isn't a bad thing. In fact, overall, it's extremely helpful. Forcing kids into doing something they don't want to do is the only way we can get them to go to school. Okay, saying that out loud kind of sounds kind of wrong. Doing extra activities, especially at a young age, not only teaches you important skills, but it also teaches you what your interests are. How are you going to know if you don't like ballet unless you try it? I've tried it, and now I can say with confidence, ballet is not for me. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's had to deal with parents signing you up for sports, instruments, and more sports. I think when you're really young, you don't realize that you have a choice. Your parents just start taking you to soccer practice every Wednesday, and you think, oh, okay, I guess I'm doing this now. But all the activities I was forced into, while I never got invested in any of them, I'm still glad I did them, you know? I forgot how old I was when my mom signed me up for soccer, but I was little enough for the goals to look like this. I can't tell you how many games you won or how many goals I scored. It was probably close to zero. Because I ultimately didn't care about soccer. The only thing I cared about was getting a treat after every game because I earned it. I know some kids who really enjoy playing soccer. I forget which video I mentioned this, but back in the day, there was this kid I knew named Micah. He used to live in the house directly behind mine, and we were on the same Little League soccer team. He was really good at soccer, probably better than I'll ever be, and he still plays to this day. Well, okay, it's been four years since I last talked to him, but he was still playing soccer to this four years ago. Now, did Micah's parents initially force him into playing soccer? Probably, I didn't ask. But if his parents never forced him into it, he would have never known how good he was at the game and how much he enjoyed it. But that's enough about Micah. This is my channel. I don't remember how I stopped playing soccer. I just stopped showing up to the practices one year. 
and then I never played again. And then my mom put me into Boy Scouts, and that was a lot better, because it wasn't competitive, and camping is awesome, and I made some dumb videos about it. So it was a return investment. Another activity my mom put me in was this martial art class called Aikido. I'm honestly surprised I've gotten 107 videos without mentioning Aikido once. Probably because it was boring and nothing interesting happened. My mom put me and my twin sister into Aikido, and we both agreed that it was boring and we didn't like it, so we decided not to remind my mom whenever she had to take us to class, and surprisingly, she forgot most of the time. Okay, look, whenever the sensei was talking, we had to sit on our knees, and that gets uncomfortable after two seconds. What is Aikido, I hear you asking? Aikido is a special form of martial arts in that it doesn't teach you how to fight. Aikido is all about self-defense, and to also not hurt the attacker. You know those self-defense techniques that are like, if someone tries to attack you, use your keys as a knife and stab them. Aikido is not that. An Aikido master will take an attacker's arm, spin them around, and then pin them down to the floor. Now that sounds really cool on rice paper, like if someone goes to attack you, and then you block their punch and pin them to the ground, and you just give them a look like, you wanna take me on, kid? I've already got you pinned down. Now I'm not gonna hurt you, because I'm that powerful. But if you ever attempt to attack me or my clan ever again, I will be forced to use 10% of my power and break your spine in half. And I think my mom saw that Akito was non-violent and taught self-defense, and she thought it was a better activity than learning how to kick someone in the face. But after doing some research on Akito, I've learned that it's not really, what's the right word? respected in the martial art community. There's a lot of people saying that the techniques of Aikido don't work against a real attack, and that if someone's really attacking you, you can't reasonably pin them down without hurting them. So it's probably a better idea to just punch back. And some people who are in Aikido think that their style of fighting is more civil and the more eloquent way of fighting, or non-fighting. So there's a tad bit of elitism in the martial art community. Now, surprisingly, I've never been in a real fight, so I can't really comment on what the more effective martial art is. I'm sure.